Hello and welcome to another episode of Historical Churches here on SAR Histories where on the channel today we will be visiting St Michael's Church, Brereton, Staffordshire. St Michael's Church was built in 1837 by Thomas Trubshaw, architect of Hayward, who designed a cruciform plan in which the transepts were placed near the west rather than the east end. The church is mainly in the early English style and the upper stage is dated 1887 at the base, above which it turns octagonal and has lancets under gables, which have large sculpted headstops below a stone spire. The upper part of the tower and spire were rebuilt in 1887 by John Aldridge Scott. A west porch was added in the late 19th century and the southwest vestry was added in 1894. The Doomsday Book of 1086 records Rugeley as being part of the King's lands and having land enough for five ploughs and was worth 100 shillings but there is no mention of a church. Before 1950, Brereton had a mainly rural landscape with wide views over the Trent Valley and the old Brereton colliery hidden away on the edge of Cannock Chase. There were many tough times between the two world wars when there were few motor cars, when not every household had a wireless and television was almost unheard of. It was in the 1950s and 60s however that the local scene dramatically changed with the building of Lee Hall Colliery and the power station. This industry brought many newcomers to the area with the resulting house building boom and a demand for new facilities. Breton's vicar at the time, the Reverend Carson, wrote in the parish magazine of November 1958 more and more this area in which we live becomes urban and not rural. Day by day the industrial engulfs the agricultural. Sadly the church was closed but inside has a richly detailed gothic pulpit. Stained glass windows by Warden Hughes and Burleson and Griles. I myself have connections to St Michael's as my four times great grandparents were married here as well as being buried here along with my five times great grandparents. Daniel Clark, my fourth times great grandfather was sadly killed in the explosion at Brereton Colliery on the 6th of February 1861 and his remains are somewhere in this graveyard. The graveyard has many headstones varying in shape and size. The grounds are well kept for the most part though some areas are overgrown and is difficult underfoot. As I searched the headstones in hope of finding my ancestors I noticed that it was very noisy, this being that the church is beside a busy road. The constant roar of the passing traffic shatters the tranquillity that you expect from a churchyard. If you have ancestors in the area, St Michael's is worth a visit as there is a good number of headstones to search. Though for me it lacks the peaceful ambience of other churches, but still has its own uniqueness in its appearance.
If you have enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time for more historical churches. Until then, goodbye.